In this video, we'll learn how to multiply a monomial radical expression. It's important to remember the product rule for multiplying radicals to each other. Notice that the exponents don't matter, but the indexes do. They have to match. From there, we can multiply the leading values in, or the ones that are in front of the radical together to get a c nth root of, and then we can multiply the part inside the radical together, b, d. It's very important to always be sure your final answer is simplified. Let's try example one. We'll go ahead and multiply the first two values, the values in front of the radicals together, noticing first that our indexes match. Now I'm going to multiply what's inside the radicals together. Six times fifteen is ninety. Now I have to make sure that my final answer is simplified. I do this by checking 90 to make sure that I've found all the prime factors. So I'm going to go ahead and prime factor 90. Divide 90 by 2 to get 45. Divide 45 by 3 to get 15. Divide 15 by 3 to get 5, and divide 5 by 5 to get 1. So 90 is equivalent to 2 times 3 to the second times 5. If we rewrite the example 1 radical expression as 8 root 2 times 3 to the second times 5, we can easily determine what comes out. 3 to the second has an exponent of 2 and the index of 2. So we can pull 3 out. And we'll be left with 2 times 5, which is 10. So my final answer is 8 times 3, which is 24, root 10. In example two, we do the same thing. First, we notice that our indexes match, and so we can move on to multiplying the values in front of the radical. Negative three times seven is negative 21, and inside the radical, eight, inside the radicals, eight times 10 is 80. Don't forget to put your four as the index, and now we need to prime factor 80. Divide 80 by 2 to get 40, divide 40 by 2 to get 20, divide 20 by 2 to get 10, and divide 10 by 2 to get 5. Divide 5 by 5 to get 1, and now you have your prime factors for 80. 2 to the 1, 2, 3, 4 times 5 to the first. I'm going to rewrite my original radical expression as negative 21 fourth root of 2 to the fourth times 5 to the first. 1 2 will come out because the exponent is 4, the index is 4. 4 divided by 4 gives us 1. So I have negative 21 times 2 to the first, fourth root of 5. Negative 21 times 2 is negative 42. And I'm left with root, fourth root of 5. So I've simplified my radical expression as far as it will go.